I'm so happy and so proud to be a part of the Ross Valley School District, not only as a teacher, but as a parent and a family member. It's really a beautiful, magical place to be. So I think what makes Ross Valley special is really a combination of four things. The kids are amazing and really interesting. The staff is so incredibly committed and professional. We have an amazing parent body that is so invested in our schools. And then also the community, how supportive they are. It makes for a pretty special learning environment. Good morning, friends. How many ladybugs? Five ladybugs on a hand. Five ladybugs on a hand. I'm really excited about the direction that Ross Valley is going in with reading and writing workshop, the new math program, much more student-centered, hands-on learning, the 21st century type of learning, but also really um, putting an emphasis on teacher development and teacher professionalism. So writers, today I want to teach you that writers create a title by considering what will attract the reader. This title is called Growl, a book about bears. So it makes it a little more exciting as attracting the reader, Growl. As a teacher, I think it's so important just to establish that safe and nurturing environment so that from the get-go when they start from the first week of school that they feel safe and they are able to take risks and know that it's okay to make mistakes. Basketball is a sport that kids of all ages can play. Gymnastics is important to wear a certain type of clothing. Trick-or-treating is a fun thing you get to do at Halloween. Currently we're printing this, which is just a little test model of a cat. Since there's no sun right now, we attach the battery pack to it right here. There we go. In the beginning of the year, I really work on building a classroom community. It creates this kind of opportunity for us to all feel connected with one another, to just let them know that I care about them. I really like the teachers. I like history and English. I like science right now. I really like English. I like math and English. Definitely one of my favorites is history. I like Miss Lamar and Miss Walden. They're both really nice. Once you get the ruler on the plate, you can smash it so it's flat. Yeah, I Last week I had a student that was really struggling with um, the concept of taking an uh, improper fraction and making it into a mixed number. Finally, something clicked, and, and she, she literally said, I get it. And she was so happy, and I gave her a high five, and I told her, this is, this is what keeps me going as a teacher. All right, we have here the third generation of our Lunar Landers. When we were doing our science project, one of my students had an aha moment. So she's five years old, and she's discovered shock absorbency through mini marshmallows, tape, and cardboard. It was really exciting for me, and it was really exciting for her. If you feel like you're all set, we're gonna go ahead and play Quizlet Live. The key part of Common Core that has shifted all the work that we're doing in our classrooms is there's much more of a focus on kids really solving problems and thinking critically and working collaboratively. It's <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. It's really fun to look for ways to bring history alive. This year, we did Samurai School. I have people studying Zhang He or Marco Polo. I have students studying um, the Samurai or Buddhism. And so it really was something that caught their attention and that they're interested in. We learned about like their spiritual mindness and stuff like that. <laughs> What we try to do is we try to find ways to connect to their lives. We mm -hmm. help them to not only explore themselves, but also find a way to express themselves. And then that's a gift that they take with them throughout life. One of the things I love about teaching music is that, you know, the work that I do, I can see and hear that work. The minute, the moment, they finally get it. You can just feel this exhilaration in the room, you know? So I feel it, and I think the kids feel it too. So you have both great teaching and learning. 
You have teachers who are engaged and excited about teaching. There's a lot of academic rigor, and you have these beautiful campuses. What more can you want? <laughs>